there he is. Personally, my cultural identity is everything that I am. I embody the woman in me, the Jamaican in me, the Bristolian, the Londoner in me. So it is, in essence, everything that I am. I was raised in Christianity. Like, if you know anything about Jamaica, know that it has the most um, churches per square mile and it has the most rum shacks per square mile as well, you know? But essentially, everybody in Jamaica is like religious to some degree or spiritual in some way. So raised in a Christian household, but yet like, I didn't fit in, in those norms. So I always had these questions, what's the meaning of life? I moved from Bristol to London because I was really like, just seeking like myself and I felt like I couldn't be myself. In Bristol, you had to be a black girl who had like Chris Curls going down her face and you had to say, you get me and you know, you had to fancy this person and you had to want to live in a bed sit and you know, and I was like, this is not me. But like that led to more of a journey of identity, of seeking, of searching and that led eventually to um, me embracing Islam. I am Muslim, I am black, I am Jamaican, do you get what I mean? I am a child of those who were taken from Africa. So I am, I am, I'm the African continent as far as I'm concerned. And I think the beauty of Islam is that it allows me to be all of these people. It allows me to have access to different cultures. And so I just try to embrace all of that and live that inside of me. I consider myself creation. I consider myself the universe. Like, if we figure that the universe contains so much within ourselves, we too contain so much. So like, I am everything that my mother is. I'm everything that my father is. I'm everything that if I have children, they will be, you know? I'm all of these things in one. So like, I feel like I'm just a little multiverse, do you know what I mean?